about oil. Today marks the one-year anniversary since the deadly blast on BP's Deepwater Horizon rig, and the financial implications are still being felt. President Obama put a 10-month freeze on deepwater drilling in the Gulf, and energy output from the region is slow. Some say non-existent. Joining us now, Erica Payne, founder of the Agenda Project. Mark Matson, founder and CEO of Matson Money. Erica, to you first. Is the administration missing the mark on drilling? I don't think they're missing the mark. I mean, we've got a long-term energy problem that we've got to solve. And I think what the Obama administration is trying to do is balance some of our short-term needs with trying to solve a long-term problem, which is there is simply not enough of an energy supply at the right price for us to continue to grow the economy. We've got to stop depending on oil. You know, Mark, I mean, if deep water drilling in the Gulf did ramp up, do you think that oil prices would actually be able to be sustained at these levels right now? Look at what we're seeing today. Yeah, the problem isn't just uh, drilling in the Gulf, it's drilling, period. We need affordable energy. It hurts everybody. And, and high energy costs is a regressive penalty on the poor and the middle class because they use, a, 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 compared to their income, they use a lot of it. So, I mean, you know, this is heating and oil for our, our homes, our churches, our schools. And I don't know why liberals can't get off of this and say, look, we've got to get people back to work. Long term, the best way to create low energy costs and solve this problem is economic growth, and it's stopping economic growth. But the, I tell you what is stopping, Erica, and that is what is happening in the Gulf. And if you look at some of the estimates, and there's some bullish estimates out there, that by 2030, the need for oil is going to be 30 percent to 40 percent higher uh, right. for the world. That means that we're going to have to find new sources. That could be deep water, Erica, and the administration does not want that to happen. They want to overregulate it, some say. Well, I'll tell you what, I think that you've got to look at what is the overall world supply of oil and what is the overall demand for oil and what is that going to look like? Because that's just classic economics. You know, supply and demand curve, that's well, okay, going to be your 40%. price point. Erica and China, look, this may be 40% right, by 2030. Right. And so more can, than now. can we afford to keep on depending on a dwindling resource? We have, most scientists say that we have passed that that crux in oil where there's less remaining in the earth than we had before. And so we've got to find alternative energy sources. And, and those, okay, Mark, fine. Alternative energies are fine. Investors look at that all the time. You're talking about wind and solar and nuclear, but that is, again, decades away. We consume oil. We consume a lot of it right now. Uh, we're, are we going to see the prices keep going up? And what does that do to the economy? Well, you know, a lot of investors, this just doesn't just affect the consumption. Americans are investors in oil and energy. Uh, most investors own mutual funds. 10% uh, of our portfolios are in the U.S. or in the energy sector. Internationally, it's 8%. And so when, when you depress a part of the economy, this is Atlas shrugged all over again. Elitist bureaucrats regulating, controlling, restricting, hurting the economy, and hurting the growth of our country. Uh, it, it's going to be produced somewhere. It, we should produce it here at home. Right. So I'll tell you who's not an elitist bureaucrat is my captain friend, John, who's a captain in the Army, who's over in Iraq for his third tour of duty in 10 years. He's over there risking his life and the lives of other soldiers for us to protect this resource when if we invest properly, we can actually end our dependence on foreign oil and we can actually stop funding dictators and sending people like my friend to die in the Gulf. Erica, I think they're over there trying to protect us from terrorism, but but uh, I, I, that's just me. Uh, Erica Payne, founder of the Agenda Project. Mark Matson, founder and CEO of Matson Money. Thanks, Thanks to both a lot. of you.